Nine books each donated by First Book. The summer usually is a time when children don't necessarily read a lot, and so they slide back. And we want our students reading over the summer so they can continue to grow. The books were chosen to match each student's reading level. Over 3,600 books were given away today. You might be hearing the pitter-patter of little showers on top of your roof right now. That's not Santa Claus. Nope, that's rain uh, moving through the area. And we're going to find some more of that on the way for us tonight. We've got uh, overcast conditions, a couple of showers happening right now on the Touchstone Energy Cam here across the QC. Mostly cloudy skies and 78 are current temperature. Pretty warm, pretty sticky today. That's been the, uh, the deal, and there's going to be more of that on the way for us in the next few days here, too. There's so much humidity in the air, not just what's landed on the ground in recent rainfall, but it's just suspended in the air. That, this feels awful, doesn't it? 88 was our high today, 69 degrees early this morning, and uh, yes, we picked up some showers here just in the last few minutes in Uptown. 62 up in Boone right now, 69 degrees in Morganton. A little bit cooler back here to the west of us, thanks to some more showers back that way. That's part of a cold front that's going to be pushing through here, and I like my radars tight. Just like this one, right over the top. Look at this, we're talking about Stanley and down towards Gastonia, some wet conditions. Hello, Gastonia. Showers are popping right now. Uh, we'll find those showers rocking on through here in the next little bit. You'll hear some of this thunder and lightning and the occasional uh, patter of rain on your roof coming up overnight tonight. As this front works its way eastward and really passes by along about 8 to 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. You got to go way back to the west of us to catch the uh, outer edge of this front. It's just now crossing from Bowling Green, Kentucky, uh, where I got my education. It's true. Uh, and then pushing all the way through the mountains tonight, we're finding those showers that'll roll on through here. And then it's all about the wet conditions coming up early tomorrow, but giving way to a partly cloudy afternoon. So I'll stop this along about five o'clock in the morning as the showers push on by. And then along about midday or so, we could break out into a little sunshine through the clouds tomorrow. Heat, humidity, all back with us once again. And then we turn into a pretty nice looking uh, parts of Wednesday into Thursday. I think we'll see some sunshine and really some halfway decent conditions, but it's going to be warm and muggy for sure. 70, mild and muggy tonight with a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms. It becomes more of a general rain as we head towards the early morning hours. So the first part of the day, pretty soggy. Upper 80s for daytime highs tomorrow. Mid-70s up into the mountains, showers and thunderstorms will be coming your direction, of course, overnight tonight, like you're seeing right now in some cases. And then we end up with a pretty good-looking Wednesday and Thursday with mostly sunny skies, but the heat and humidity will definitely stick around for us this week. Daytime highs are going to bump up just a bit into the low 90s with overnight low temperatures down around 70 degrees. So we're already starting to hear some of those showers now. Just be careful driving to work or whatever you got to do tomorrow morning. Rain and 90s, I can literally hear my grass grow. I can... <laughs> Go outside. Better get out there. It's, saying, that it's saying, mow me, mow me. <laughs> I like my radar's tight and grass tight. There you go, good. sir. Thank you, Rich. <laughs> Local students are doing their part to keep the memory of a fallen officer and his police canine alive. Then later on the edge, we told you about Franklin Graham 